I went on my first wilderness trek, I think it was 87, 88. Um, it was the summer before I transitioned into junior high. So uh, a lot going on in my life and a lot of different changing you know, aspects to, to life. And uh, just spent a really tough week on trek. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I had never really heard of trek, um, but it was encouraged to go and just spent a week really slogging it out in the mountains. Really, really tough physically. Um, and when I got finished with it, I thought, that's it, I'm done, you know, I'm never going back. But all of the experiences kind of settled in on me, you know, the spiritual uh, experiences, um, the achievement of being able to make a summit and all of that really kind of settled in. And, and I thought there's really something to this. It's changed me, it's made me different. You know, it's given me a passion for the outdoors, um, sitting around a campfire, talking about God and about his creation, made a really big impact on me. And, and so I kind of caught, caught the passion, caught the fire and kept coming back, you know, year after year. I wanted to, to renew myself and to learn something different and push myself and challenge myself. So I uh, really enjoyed it and, and realized it was kind of a pivotal thing throughout high school and, and my early uh, college years and stuff. I would really look back on, on trek times and, and use that to kind of strengthen me. So kind of a neat thing. So this year, it's, it's about 33 years since my first trek. Um, and I asked the Lord many years ago when my son was born that he would keep me healthy enough to come back to trek one day and experience that with him. So uh, this week I got to do that. So it was really cool, really cool to bring him back and to show him the same things that I experienced when, when I was in junior high. So uh, really thankful to Wilderness Trek. Keep going guys, you're doing a great job.